my name's Andrew. And I'm Mike. And welcome back to an unofficial impact damage. This is going to be a bit, <laughs> bit of a different video than, than what we normally do uh, because we were going to do a, bit, a video about uh, Mike's new Ford Raptor, which is now in a Copart yard. Which is now in a Copart yard. Um, so I don't know that we can really talk much about the accident itself yet. Um, for various legal reasons, but uh, it's, a, it's a little fresh in my mind. It's yeah, um, not fun. yeah, but we can still talk about the truck. And I've convinced him to go and test drive a couple cars tonight because now that he I basically didn't have a choice. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in town, and I we were gonna hang out, and I said, well, let's go test drive cars and film. So here we are. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I mean, uh, effectively. You know, in all reality, I don't normally go out and just test drive cars at random dealerships. Well, I don't either, but I mean, you are going to be actually looking to buy another car, so. That's a good point. You yeah. know, it's not I, completely pointless. Yeah, I didn't even think about the fact that I actually have to show up places. <laughs> don't just wait for one to show up at work. <laughs> Right. There is a TR Corolla that may be on the list. Possibly, possibly. I haven't even driven it yet, and it's on my lot. But, right. You know, I, I'll, it, I'll get to it eventually. Yeah. It really just depends on uh, whether you get your money in time. Yeah. But we'll see. We'll see. So I think we're going to go drive, what, a Bronco and a Type R, it sounds like? Yeah, sure. And maybe something else. I've, I don't know. There's a... Okay. That, that white Cayman that I sent you is... Um, Somewhere, I think it's in Wendell, unfortunately. Yeah. That's a little oh. bit far for tonight. Yeah, it might be a little tough. Yeah. Do you know when these dealers close? Uh, I guess we'll find out. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah. Just as planned as every other episode we've done. Oh, yeah. Well, on that note, um, I forgot there's a VinFast dealer here now. Yeah, the VinFast dealer. Um, <laughs> We're not going to be test driving any VinFast today. Although they do have a Bronco, though, it looks like. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, on that note, uh, we'll see you in a different car. That was a terrible snap. There you go. <laughs> well, just like that, here we are in a different car. And uh, surprise, surprise, it's a GR Corolla. <laughs> Because every other dealership is closed at 7 o'clock, uh, apparently. Oh, well. Um, so we're back here at, uh, as you can see behind us, mm -hmm. somewhere, the Echo Park sign over there. And uh, I got him to drive the Corolla. So here we are. This is literally first experience right now. Yep. Uh, yep. Just getting in it, just now leaving. Yep. I, I, I have only driven it around 30 feet. Yeah. To, in, just, j j just around the shop to move it. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be true, <clears throat> raw, unfiltered mm -hmm. uh, first impressions yep. for the potential new owner of this vehicle. Oh, geez. Stop it. <laughs> it is fully warmed up, which is nice. Yep, it is. And then I'm going to drive it too, just because I've never driven one. Motherfucker. So, here we go. Well, you can't, can't really hear the turbo with the windows up. No, not really. It's kind of disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I have to be very careful um, because obviously this is, well, a little bit different than driving the Jeep. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> you know, like the, uh, you know, the throttle pedal is a lot different. Yeah. It'll automatically rev match, although it didn't do a very good job there. Yeah. That's right. I get to blame the car now. That's amazing. <laughs> so, yeah, tell, I know you told me off camera, but how does the clutch feel? It's uh, pretty synthetic. Yeah. So, like, and I don't know if synthetic's the right word. It's just, it's super light. Mm -hmm. And uh, it, it really feels like you're pressing on a spring more than, like, a hydraulic cylinder. Yeah. Which is fine. I mean, I'm sure that's what most modern clutches are like. And I will be, I would be thanking myself, um, you know, in traffic and things like that in different situations. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's not a, uh, it's not a clutch on a uh, Tremec on a Corvette. Right. It, uh, it's the dead opposite of my Jeep where the Jeep 
begs you to be kind and slow and just <laughs> yeah <laughs> take it easy for the love of all goodness gracious uh this one it, it's a lot different where really if you're not shifting it quickly you will you know until yeah. you're really used to it you're going to be kind of bucking around like it has to be shifted relatively quickly yeah, that was that was one of my big takeaways with the Jeep video is I compared it to driving the Miata, which is the same type of thing as this. It sounds like where the Jeep rewards almost rewards lazy driving, but yeah. this you've got to be on top of your shit. Yeah, um, yeah, like like those first couple shifts there, I let the revs drop too far. Yeah, um, which I mean, this isn't like a 911 or anything crazy, <laughs> but like compared to what I've been well, driving, right, yeah. You know, it, it it's you know it requires you to shift just I mean really not more forcefully just a little bit quicker. Yeah. Which I'm sure normal people who have been driving manuals and performance cars for a long time will find this pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, the feels pretty good. Uh, it's pretty notchy. Yeah. That's good. You know, I mean the the gates are pretty well spaced. I mean you pretty much know where you are just by feel and you can tell when you're in gear mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's pretty nice yeah and uh, dare I say it's a little cozy in here too it feels pretty good yeah this this seats pretty comfy yeah. Yeah. does that seat have a whole lot of adjustment it probably doesn't uh, does it? no because this one doesn't it is pretty basic yeah so this is um, <laughs> So this is, you were telling me earlier, this is a Core, a GR Corolla Core, yep. uh, with the premium package and the tech package, correct? Yes. But not cold weather. Yeah. So, so no heated seats. No, no heated seats, but it does have the limited slip diffs, yep. uh, front and rear. Um, it has, I, I'm not going to lie, I don't know what the tech package gives you. <laughs> I, I'm sure it might be like the wireless charging pad or some other crap yeah, there like is, that. Yeah, there is plenty of other features in here. There's a wireless charger, it's got adaptive cruise, mm -hmm. which I'm sure you'll probably never use. I, um, it's got factory nav, which is actually kind of surprising. It is pretty surprising. Um, which, I don't know, I know in the newer Toyota trucks you have to pay a subscription for the factory nav now. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if this one is mm -hmm. the same way, but it's got a digital dash. Um, yeah, I mean it's got it's got everything you really need. It feels pretty good. I mean, like yeah. the, the seat, it's all manual from what I can tell. Mm -hmm. um, it's a basic height adjustment, just with a lever. Yeah. Well, this one doesn't have height adjustment at all, so yeah, that's that's to be expected though. Yeah. Driving position is. Actually, pretty. I mean, pretty solid. Um, yeah. I think the Corolla just has a decent driving position. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't call it as good as like a Honda Civic or definitely nothing like a other performance cars. Sure. But um, I mean, it's comfortable, right? Yeah, it feels good. You have good visibility, pretty good sight lines. Yeah. Um, I mean, there's nothing to really complain about when it comes to it being a daily driver. So, I mean. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Well, it feels good from the passenger seat. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a little quiet. It is, yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, which I've heard in other reviews, people complain about that. Like when you first hear a cold start, it's louder than a normal car, and it's louder than what you would expect a Corolla to be. But yeah, it, it's quieter than, well, especially like an Elantra N or like anything with a active exhaust. Mm -hmm. It is a pretty quiet car. Yeah, it sounded really good on cold start, but yeah. now that we're out here, you can't really hear much. Yeah. You can't really hear the exhaust, let alone the turbo, so. No. But I mean, the Elantra N, though, is completely the other end of the scale. It's, yeah. you know, people get um, state reft in California for that all the time, <laughs> so. Yeah, seriously. But that is also California. Give me the light, give me the light, give me the light. Oh. Nah, of course not. No. Never happens. <laughs> Well, I am going to put it into 3070 mode ah. for our four tenths test drive. <laughs> so, do you want to um, do you want to explain some of the terminology in here as far as the, uh, the oh oh like like all the systems and stuff? Yeah, like all the IMT, yeah, the, all, all the acronyms basically. The GR4. <laughs> yeah, for so, those that are unaware. 
Yeah, so the, the big appeal... Well, the big appeal is the blinker not self-canceling. Yeah. <laughs> um. uh, well, welcome to the 80s. No, um, so the big appeals, right? The first thing is, I would probably say the all-wheel drive system, right? Yeah. So it is a viscous coupler in the back, um, a lot like a Haldex with a VW. Um, mm -hmm. you know, like, like Golf R is probably the most common thing. Um, except the rear differential is slightly overdriven. Um, so during full engagement, it will allow more torque to be sent to the rear, uh, theoretically. Right. Um, in reality, this actually does function a lot like a Haldex system where you are a front wheel drive car uh, most of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, but on power, it will be sending at least a certain percentage of power up to, uh, depending on your mode, you know, you got 60-40 uh, in your normal like street mode, you have 50-50 if you put it in track mode, so you have this bottom button right here, and it'll go 50-50, or if you turn it to the right and go into sport mode, it'll go 30-70, which is the most aggressive um, torque split in terms of, you know, rotation and hard driving and things like that. Mm -hmm. Um, from what I've heard, the um, the 3070 mode is not going to make it feel like a, I mean, it's not going to make it feel like a rear wheel drive car, and it's probably even less aggressive than like um, Focus RS in drift mode, mm -hmm. or other vehicles like that. Uh, Evo, you know, especially Evos with active yaw control. Um, and probably even a little bit less aggressive than STIs with their active center diff. Um, but you will get rotation, and I mean, it's going to be hard to do it in traffic, but yeah, you know, you are probably going to feel the rear end actually doing something for you. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, because let's not forget this, this car, it's a Toyota Corolla at the end of the day, but it does also have genuine rally car roots mm -hmm. so yeah i mean the the gr yaris which unfortunately we don't get in the I u.s know, yeah, which would be really cool yeah but that is a legitimate homologation car right um, they had to make that in order to race in wrc which quite tragically uh it never technically got to compete in the way they wanted it to they are now competing we're entering a school zone <laughs> <laughs> children around yeah, it's like eight o'clock at night yeah. hence the uh terrible lighting in here yeah <laughs> but um but yeah so you know so you have the all-wheel drive system um of course that all-wheel drive system with the performance pack you get the limited slip differentials mm -hmm. they are torsen style so they're not going to be the most aggressive but they will absolutely help it is better it is always better oh auto high beams look, hey, at that. look at that all right cool good for me <laughs> um so having a torsen is far better in my opinion than having an open diff um and of course compared to like a one and a half way it's more usable on the street it's no maintenance it's good stuff uh then of course you have the motor which is the little 1.6 three cylinder uh, I don't know how much boost it's actually making, but I mean, 300 claimed horsepower. Yeah. Uh, whatever, 270, 280 foot pounds of torque, which is. Uh, Put the actual numbers up. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Pro I'm probably. Uh, it sounds that sounds right though. So keep yeah. going. <laughs> yeah. And um, you know, again, just like driving it around, it's very turbocharged, but in a really fun way where like you know you're hearing turbo noises you're feeling a buildup, and it's a i think it's a far more interesting engine than the vast majority of two liter turbos that you're getting in so much of the competition yeah um you know a three cylinder with its firing pattern will sound sort of depending on configuration like a you know half of a straight six and i think that's a great sounding engine so oh yeah Auto road matching works well oh, yeah. too. <laughs> Make me feel like a hero. <laughs> yeah. Again, it, it's more interesting than if they had just put in like 
I don't know. I, I know Toyota has a new corporate 2.4 liter turbo or something like that. that yeah. Just is engine. Right. But yeah, it, it, it's pretty cool. Yeah. And then of course inside it's a Corolla. It's, yeah. It's definitely cheaper there's, than Corolla. <laughs> there's these door panels are pretty cheap. Yeah. But that's to be expected, I suppose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean you're really just paying for the drivetrain with this car. Yeah. So. But that I mean that that is pretty classic, right? I mean that that well, that, yeah. that, that is the hot hatch recipe of you're not getting a whole lot else here except for <laughs> except for that. Yeah. <laughs> Which is fun. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> and it's also something where like, you know, that was 45 miles an hour. Like, right. I mean, yeah, that, that wasn't anything yeah, like that, crazy. That, yeah, but you're like, not doing anything that's going to piss people off. That's actually kind of an, an advantage of it not being loud is you can have that's true fun too. just putzing around town and you're really not going to be offending anybody. Honestly, everyone's just going to think you're in a Corolla hatchback. <laughs> yeah, pretty absolutely much. absolutely has its advantages. But oh, yeah. you get in here. You know, we are in 3070 mode, but we are going downhill, so I'm effectively not on power. Yeah. Um, again, nothing, those corners don't push any vehicle, so. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's it's pretty freaking cool. Yeah, it feels great from over here. Yeah. So, well, do you wanna, since we're almost back, do you wanna find a place to swap real quick? Yeah, sure. All right. So, so continuing the uh, very impromptu, unplanned video because that's always what happens when I film with you for some reason. Um, <laughs> forgot my tripod. Which is didn't, Jeep. Well, that's good. Uh, didn't bring more than one GoPro battery and it died while we were driving right there, so. We also decided to film <laughs> in car at night. Yeah, also too, yeah. It's <laughs> also like eight o'clock at night now. Um, which even though daylight savings just happened, it is quite dark now. Yep. So, uh, my thoughts real quick. I like it. It's very quick. Personally, I don't love the driving position. Mm -hmm. I, I have the same problem that I have with most Toyota products, actually, is that the steering wheel just doesn't come far, off and far enough out for me. Um, so, I feel like I can't get my legs fully, fully comfortable how I want them. Um, hate the clutch. Shifter's good, though. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's a, it would be a great daily. I would probably just make it a little bit louder. Yeah, um, I, I, can't, I, I have to agree. And uh, I don't know, I'd, I'd probably put a stiffer clutch in it personally too, but maybe that's just me. So, yeah, no, good, good car. And uh, I get to troll him for potentially buying one now. Maybe. We, there's an Elantra N here too that I'm going to get him to drive at some point, uh, which I've done a whole review on. So, uh, anyway... <laughs> <laughs> thanks for hanging out with us uh, if you enjoyed this very uh, hastily put together video one take give it a thumbs up if you found something informative in it leave a like uh, or consider subscribing for more of us and more car content and usually higher production videos so anyway thanks for watching have a good night everybody later nerds <laughs>